Breaking Bad. A show about drugs. A show about bugs. A show about thugs. A show that fucked me up beyond repair. It's a fantastic show. Hella cinematic, hella dramatic, hella engaging. It's filmed on, like, actual film. The colors are fucking nice. It's it's a holy shit show. Not a, not a shit show, but a holy shit show. You know, the kind of show that makes you go, holy shit, because it goes in a way you do not expect it to go ever, because hot damn. If you haven't watched it, what the hell are you doing? For the love of hot dogs and homeboys, go watch it. I'll guarantee you'll love it, and if you don't, then you must hate good things. In order to fully explain why I feel like shit, I have to get a bit into spoilers, so if you're not caught up on a show that ended literally five years ago, get your licky dick bitch ass out of here. Or, or don't, it's, it's up to you. Breaking Brad is the story of Walter White, the ad from Malcolm in the Middle, as he enters the business of cooking meth after being told that he has cancer. Uh, it's a journey from being Mr. Rogers to becoming Scarface. A journey from being Batman Adam West to Batman Zack Snyder. It's a journey from being Big Man to Big Bigger Man. I fucking love this show so much. Vince Gilligan, goddamn, hot damn. This is some of the hottest TV I've ever laid my little audience boy's eyes onto. I binged it a few weeks ago, and over the span of a month, I spent 62 hours, give or take, with these characters. It was a ride. The, the highs were extremely high, and the lows were higher than they had any right to be. Um, I loved every bit of the show, except that it fucked me up real bad. You see, you follow Walt on this journey as his life spirals out of control, but on the way he fucks up everyone else's lives around him. And you feel that shit. You put yourself into his shoes, and you feel his guilt. It ate away at me. Whenever I wasn't watching this show, sometimes I confused my own memories with the show like an idiot. That's the power the show had on me. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. Then, by the end, he's become so evil, such a piece of shit, it's, it's impossible to root for him, but I fucking did! And like a dumbass, he, he fucking poisoned a child, he's working with literal Nazis, he ruined his family, and it's like, I still rooted for this guy's dumbass! Why? Because I felt for him. Because I spent so long with him. Because I was on this journey with him. I fell in love with his character in the beginning, and Jesus Christ was that a mistake. And despite Walter being a total prick, why the hell did I fall in love with him? His, <laughs> his wife sure didn't. <laughs> <coughs> this is some quality content you subscribe for right here. In order to answer that piece of work, we have to look back no further than the pilot episode. The first episode, that's what pilot means. So the pilot episode of Baking Bread was cleverly titled Pilot, and the first half hour shows us the fucking miserable life that Walter has. He's a school teacher with students that don't care. His birthday present from his wife was a sad handy. His fucking son has cerebral palsy and his wife is pregnant with a surprise baby. Uh, he has to wash cars by hand, uh, which is fucking embarrassing because the students see him and they go, Hi, look at that little bitch! And then fucking his brother-in-law is a jerk-off. Another sad handy. What a shitty life. And here's the kicker. He gets lung cancer. So, big oof, colossal oof, an oof bigger than any other. You feel for Walt, his miserable ass life, the terrible news of his cancer, and he doesn't get a fucking break. He has no control over his life until he confronts Jesse and decides to cook meth with him. Then he takes control of his life and we root for him. He becomes cool, and not a constipated, overrated, overweight loser, I mean like, actually cool. He's scary as fuck, but he's... he's cool. Ooh, ooh. The rest of the season, he's the protagonist, and he gets himself into really fucking dangerous ass situations because he's way in over his head, like, way over his head. And, but also, he's doing this for his family, and that's something that we can all get behind. His wife, on the other hand, I can't really get behind. She's a real 
See you next Tuesday if you get my drift, brother. Then, by the end, he's the antagonist. He does fucking terrible shit. The whole point of the show is to get you into this gray area where the audience doesn't know whether or not you should still root for him. And sure, he's the main character, but he has changed for the worse. Or better, if you want like a compelling drama, but he was real for the worse. And I'll admit it, I made a mistake. I put myself into his shoes. But how could you not sympathize with this beautiful Brian Cranston man, the fucking dad from Malcolm, and the fucking middle dude? I, 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 don't, I don't know how, how you look at this face and go, Yeah, what an asshole. Like, like, look at him. Sexy boy. So when Walter changed due to his situations, I changed with him. I mean, I didn't poison kids or anything, that's fucked. But I, I, I felt his guilt. I felt like I was in the wrong. And that's the power that breaking bread, breaking, fuck. That's the power, that's the power that breaking bad has on people. It made me feel like shit, but I love it. I, not the feeling like shit part, I, I mean the show. And sadly, Better Call Saul, the successor to Breaking Bad, doesn't have that same kind of effect on me. It's still really good, but you know, just FYI. So thank you for watching a stupid video where I try to rationalize my insecurities by blaming it on a TV show. Hey, 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 I don't cook math and I don't have a job because I make these videos and I also have school. So if you don't want me to become a child poisoning badass, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash resort. You get cool perks like uh, Discord server stuff because that's totally active and uh, you also can get the first draft of the screenplay for my cartoon because that was a totally good idea to make that public. Um, so your support will go a long way. It will help me fund these videos, make them better, not look like ass, um, make me not sound like ass, make me not have this giant fucking piece of shit in front of my face, my arm's getting tired, like come on. It, it'll help better quality videos and also a cartoon that I've been planning for so long. I don't know why I'm doing this fucking voice. You know, it also helps pay for my inevitable cancer treatment due to my crippling addiction to Coke Zero. Uh, watching and subscribing. Uh, so thank you to all of you that have subscribed and are watching my videos and liking them. And I love all of you guys. All the good things you said about these videos are fucking top goddamn notch. Um, I'm currently not monetized because of YouTube's bass backwards wacky bullshit. But just know that your support will go a long way, because every, every view and subscriber helped me, like, a lot. So thank you all for doing that! So <laughs> thank you so much for watching these dumb videos. Don't poison kids, and uh, hit that bell button, and smash that like button, and prune your family! Okay, not that one, not the last one.